Hello there everyone, and today we're reviewing something I have not done for once. For this one, I have, I have had put back my backlog for a bit, and not a model kit. It's not a transformer. I mean, it is still a robot. A Dragon One made of Legos. Not the official Lego, but it was pretty good pricing. It's from a store that I don't live near. Today for viewing is the, oh God, I'm gonna screw up the name of it, do? I'm sorry about this. <clears throat> the uh, general, the general Mao Chow of the Five Tigers. This is a Lego-like figure without being Lego. And yeah, this is how big the box is. And then they cost me 60 bucks. They did re-release it in the same store with a stand. So technically mine is technically more out of date. Because this one I bought like... Probably in like February, I think if I remember correctly. Now uh, this thing is pretty big. It does have issues, I'll get to that when we look at it. I would say it is a good size, but for dear god has space because they made they made more than one they made one more than one. And these are based on Chinese um leaders. I.e. uh generals of the of certain wars. Which I don't know if they're all based on those because I don't know. And yes, from the box, it is very colorful. And yes, it is, the parts right here are very reflective. And the thing is, it is all bird based. This took me about five hours to fully build. It was a lot of fun, but I still did it. And the thing is, the project of it is pretty good. I don't, I still had a book with me, it's not there. But we're, I'm not gonna show that off because that'd be way too long for me to do. Let's take a closer look at this massive, massive vicar. No information, nothing. Just a simple mecha figure. Yeah. I'm not explaining it. Here's the biggest figure I have. I just call, call it a uh, chow. It's easy for me to say, and also I don't know how to say certain words properly, so give me a better one. And the thing is, it is all Lego like. It will do this, so. Okay, I would say the only things part about it that I don't really like is that the silver parts, especially on these things right here, they are very, how can you say, flaky. They want to, like, flake apart when you touch them too much, which is the issue with that for the silver. Most silver, i.e. like the spikes right here, these parts, don't like to flake off, so that's the only good part about these. Same thing with the uh, drawings right here, they don't like to flake off. Even though you're moving them, they don't flake off. Same thing with the back legs like here, they don't flake off at all. And it is very awkward to pose this thing without having a lot of space. That's the thing about it. It's very good. Wow. That's a crumpled army. I mean... It gives me a little more space. Yeah, I talk, I talk about this in a bit. What you just saw was the crumpling of a part. Right here. I'm going to ignore that for a bit right now. <clears throat> but it does give me good things. These, these things flimsy as hell. No wonder these things won't fall apart. I feel like I'm gonna have to delete this video immediately. <laughs> um, let me worry about the skirts later. <clears throat> now, I will say, what you do see when you do take out the skirts is that these things are all on the same joints. So, that's the only good part about it is that they're on the same joints on the legs of the. which is pretty good because you don't have to worry about trying to worry about every other complexity for a figure. Same thing, I think, I think same thing with the, I think the legs. No, they're, they're on a ball, though. So these are on a ball joints. And, and what I'm at, it's, it'd be easier to show off with the leg like off. Is that they go this far, and they do rotate as well. 
and they're saying it's very sensitive, so I'm saying this thing is too sensitive to even touch slightly. It's like breathing on it. You know what you do, it's going to fall apart on you. So certain parts on the feet move. Like the back heel back here does move them to get some better ranges, but I, I am afraid that if you do certain poses, it might tip over. Like I said right here, it is a ball, a ball um, joint, technically. I'm just going to grip a lot of major parts. I do grip parts that are very annoying that you want to constantly. Does that make sense? Um, do you think do move them? But I don't really recommend that at all, if I have to. Um, this cock thing right here wants to move, and it does. Okay. The arms are on a full rotation, and these arms are very solid for one second here. Same thing with the uh, elbow right here. These things do like to get in the way, but they can move out, which is the only good part. Same thing right here, so you get way more range. Sorry if you can't see, it's kind of hard because this figure is way massive than I expected. Um, these upper pieces right here do move out of the way for some reason, if I remember. The hands are just... Kind of like older mecha, fig uh, older mech figures that I did a few years ago. <sighs> and let's see, the head. Oh, you can see. Sorry about that. The head is on a small ball, and I will say with this right here, the head. I'll pop it off, make it easier for me. The head, this right here, does want to fall off because it is kind of a little, uh, a little joint. I just glued it in so I don't have to worry about it. And all of this is way more movable. This is what is on the ball. Certain pieces like to fall off, but you know. I would say it looks very good from afar. Up close, it looks horrendous. And it is some ball joint sticks on. Looks up that far, looks down far. It does rotate, but good luck rotating. It's not fun. These things don't really move as much, which is the only part I kind of do. And you do get the same three weapon three times. However, when I first did this figure, <clears throat> however, when I first did this figure, these things, as for the IE inside, they're just stuck in. They don't, they don't stay out. Does that make sense? <clears throat> so these bottom parts like to come out, uh, the top plate right here want to pop out, and that's for all three of them too, that's how major it is. And you do get these little ball things, or rotation things, which already are pretty good to all three of them, which look really good on all three weapons. They're not my problem here, my problem is that you need to glue every part down, which makes it means it's more sensitive than it should be. Especially with the skirts being sensitive as it is. This thing is super duper sensitive. You can't really so-called play with this at all without the figure crumpling at its own weight. The only way that these that these things want to stick on if you glue it. However, I better for show what's right here. These all do the same thing, but they want to crumple. It does, it does have, it does have good range when it wants to, but they do, do all the same type thing in case you want to do good action poses. But the figure is too bulky enough and it's too floppy enough to deal with that I don't think is really, really the thing. Is. You need to glue down all these parts right here to make sure everything comes together. And when I say that part, you really need to make sure all of this um, stays on because these things do move up that's the only good part about it it doesn't move up but these things like to crumple at the waist you do get uh two balls um, and they don't really move which is the only thing about it i don't like because you don't get a waist rotation but that makes sense with the kind of bigger figure you can't have waist rotation at all i guess this is the tiger person because jesus this is so massive Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm gonna compare it to Gundam's first because if I do that, it makes it look it makes it look it makes, it makes Gundam look small. Here's the RX Zen RX Zen the Origin Master Grid Vision. 
Not the high grade. No, no, no. This is a master grade. It makes it look like a baby. You can pick it up if you want to, but I'm not going to do that because I'm my own gunman. Or just save his ass. <laughs> Here's uh, Barbados, Barbados, and high grade. It literally makes these things look like child's play. And more time than gunman do. Yep. Oh, of course. In a leader class. <laughs> he looks small. That's how big he is. For the most part. Damn it. Here is um Soundwave. Compared to him, he's a fortune class. Oh my god, that's how big he is. And I think it's good sizing, but dear god, you better be ready for anything to snap on you at all costs. And I'm saying that. Who has played with the sticker? Well, not this one, but you know, dude. So, let's get some fun with us on it and not worry about anything breaking off on for the class. <laughs> now, would I recommend you this giant set? Probably not. Due to parts falling apart, things getting loose, and I think that's an issue. If you would have to buy some official parts, um, like these, so they won't fall out. Or if you have to get some actual um lego parts to change them out for well to change out these pieces for actual lego parts to make sure they stick a little longer and they last longer you if you have to i'm not saying you have to however i would do it in case i have to for me i just need to figure out what to do but i do have pieces i have that i can see what i can do with so you got a cons you got a pros it's a little cool but Dear wallet, you better cry. I know it is because I spent 60 bucks on this damn thing. Doing due to all of this, I'd say recommend it at your own cost. If you were careful in putting it in a corner as a display, yes, it works for that. But having it as a playable thing, you better not. <laughs> better not because you're gonna probably break it or two. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta be a little mean about it, but it looks cool. But uh, it's just something downsides of it. I can't re re really recommend towards everyone. So, would you buy this at your own cost? I'm asking you now. Um, like and subscribe on Discord, and also I have a new Discord, and there's also my link tree as well for all that in case you want to know where I am. Patreon is up too, but I'm not done anything since July. So about that, I've been working. Okay, have a good day, y'all. Peace out.